Hi, I'm Dan Schreiber, founder of Wear Bands, and welcome uh, to the first of a series we're going to call Getting Fit with the Founder. Uh, this will be a place you can come and check out some of the different things you can do uh, with Wear Bands for different types of exercises. Uh, of course, you're really only limited by your imagination with Wear Bands. You can do whatever you want. Put them on. Uh, they'll have fun. You're going to get a more efficient, more productive workout. Uh, but if you're looking for some content, looking for some different things to do, uh, you can come to this Get Fit with the Founders. Uh, playlist on our YouTube channel and just see some ideas um, and I'll show you a few different things you can do. So this is the first of the series and to get started we're going to get started with the booty, right? Who doesn't like a good booty? Now uh, whether you're an athlete um, trying to strengthen your posterior chain or just somebody working on their physique, uh, working on their booty and working on their legs, wear bands is a killer uh, application for that. So I'm going to get started with showing you some things about uh, the booty and things you can do with wear bands. Now you'll notice I'm actually wearing our upper body system as well. You may or may not uh, have purchased this. Um, I like to use our upper body system for everything I'm doing because it just gives me uh, a good workout on my chest, my shoulders, my back, and my arms while I'm doing different kinds of exercises like booty exercises. So I'm going to leave them on. Uh, if you'd like to give them a try and haven't got them, you know, come back, get them from our website. I think you'll find uh, they're a really nice addition, but it's not necessary if it's not your preference. So let's go ahead uh, and get started. Uh, let's get started with the squat, right? The simple air squat with wear bands now. Take a nice deep bend up and squeeze the glutes. And as you can see with my upper body system, as I reach out, I'm also getting some nice engagement in my arms, my shoulders, uh, and my upper back. Uh, some statistics just for your information. Um, we actually tested this in the lab. We had some people just do simple air squats without wear bands. Then we had them put on wear bands and go ahead and do the exact same squats, same number of times with wear bands. And we tested muscle activation. What we found was an increase of somewhere between 50 and 80% in muscle activation uh, in the glutes simply by adding wear bands. That's the kind of effect uh, compared to body weight workout, especially uh, that wear bands can have. Now, in addition to the standing squat, of course, you can also do a nice side squat. Just down, extend that one leg and back up. Down, extend the leg and back up. Sometimes you'll see people holding a goblet squat here, which adds some nice vertical resistance, which is why they teach you to do that. But this outside leg really isn't getting much of the work. It's kind of going along for the ride a bit. With wear bands now, you get resistance in two different planes. You get resistance uh, in a vertical plane like the goblet squat, but you also get resistance in this horizontal plane as you're stretching your legs. So it's just another way you can get a more efficient workout with wear bands. And then let's move right into the uh, reverse lunge. Great move for the glutes. Just back, nice and steady, and up. Back and up. And then after the reverse lunges, uh, we can do the famous, some say infamous, uh, pistol squat with your wear bands, right? So now the wear bands, because they're pulling you down, are going to really challenge your balance and your stabilizers significantly more than if you're just doing body weight. And as you can see, I'm getting some extra activation with the upper body system as well. You really feel the difference on the pistol squat. Now, before we go on to some uh, higher intensity kind of hip tight moves, don't forget walking. Walking is a great activity with wear bands. We also tested this in the lab. We had some people go out for about uh, 30 to 40 minute walks. Uh, going about three and a half miles an hour, a typical uh, walking pace. Uh, we tested them multiple times, keeping everything else controlled. And what we found is uh, when you're walking with wear bands versus walking without wear bands, your average heart rate will increase about 10%, probably a little bit more than that. And your average calorie burn will be at least 25% greater. So next time you go out to walk the dog, walk with a friend, go for a hike, hook up your wear bands. You're going to get a much better cardio workout you're going to burn a lot more calories. So it's sort of like going for a walk from a cardiovascular standpoint. You're going for a walk, but you're kind of getting the cardio work you'd be getting uh, with a jog just by going for a walk and, of course, with zero impact. So consider that. Um, one other thing, we actually have people that take wear bands uh, into their office um, and just stand there at their stand-up desk working. Because remember, the way wear bands works is it's really pulling you down to the ground. It's sort of like working under extra gravity. And now you have to stand up nice and tall against those bands that are pulling you down. And when you do that, just standing up, your core, your glutes, your quads, your calves, 
all the way down the kinetic chain, everything is kind of engaged. So if you actually wear wear bands just standing around doing uh, some housework, uh, maybe mowing the lawn, um, you're going to get a really nice booty workout just from doing those ordinary activities. So let's move on to some more high intensity work now. If you want to up the calorie burn um, and up your heart rate and get a hip type workout in, uh, here's a couple things you can do that are also really going to work the glutes. Of course, the simple skater, right? Back and forth, nice deep bend, nice and stable as you get to each side. If you happen to have the upper body system and you want to add an upper body element, just swing. Swing that arm across like you sort of see a speed skater do when they race. You're going to feel it in the glutes, in your legs, and your upper body all at once. And you're going to see that heart rate really jump up. Another way, of course, uh, to get the heart rate up is to simply do some split squats. You can start doing simple standing still split squats. The next level would be a hop. Like that. And then if you really want to get the heart rate going, as you're doing these, throw your arms up in the air. And if you have the upper body system on, you're going to get that resistance on the way up. And you're going to get a great glute workout uh, and a great high intensity workout at the same time. And one final thing I'll show you while we're standing up here. If you simply have a chair at home, let's say you've taken wear bands out to the park for some outdoor fitness, there's a bench around. You want to do some work standing up, or you can even put your hands against the wall. You can, of course, do the same donkey kicks standing up. Do the fire hydrants. Do any kind of pulse work. You'll see this in bar, which brings up a point. You can see I'm not wearing my shoes today because wear bands you can wear with no shoes at all or you can slip them inside your shoe, of course. So for those of you that like bar workouts, yoga workouts, Pilates workouts, MMA workouts, it's a great system because you can wear it barefoot. You can even take it to the beach if you'd like. So those are just a few things you can do um, standing up. Next, we're gonna get down on the floor and let's do some of the more traditional uh, booty workouts and see how that goes. I'll see you down there, come on. Okay, welcome to the ground. Now we're gonna do some more traditional uh, booty work with wear bands. You've probably seen these types of moves before, but you've never seen them or done them with wear bands. So uh, let me show you how they how they work with wear bands. Now, um, as you can see, I have my upper body system on again. Again, if you didn't purchase it, it's okay. You can do all these same exercises uh, without it. I like to always leave the upper body system on because even when I'm doing something simple like this, as you can see now, these bands are engaged. They're sort of pulling me to the ground, right? So I'm going to have to stand up against them. You know, and now my arms, my triceps, my shoulders, my back, even a little bit of my chest uh, is all engaged while I'm doing my booty work. So it's sort of a, a two for one deal. Uh, so let's get started. Of course, you've seen the normal uh, donkey kicks, right? Nice long extension. Now the resistance added by wear bands is going to give you a whole new level uh, of burn. That's a simple one, right? Then we can do, of course, the toe tap up and over. Again, really squeezing that glute, getting extra activation. Uh, simple move right there. Uh, of course, there's the pulse, right? You just start up here and just pulse. You do a lot of those. It's a great move. When you have that extra resistance from wear bands, uh, it just reaches a lot deeper and you'll feel a lot more burn uh, even with the pulse. Uh, simple move there. And of course, uh, there's the fire hydrant right out to the side. And then one of my personal favorites, right, the bird dog. Put your opposite arm and opposite leg straight out and stretch. You can really see where the upper body system comes in here. Because in addition to getting the glute work in on my leg, I'm getting some great shoulder stability work uh, from the upper body system. Now, of course, if you want to crank up the intensity of the bird dog a little bit, right, you get up off your knees and onto your feet. Now, where bands is really going to challenge your balance because the bands are pulling you down to the ground. Now when you go, you got to really concentrate, but it's very doable. And you'll feel all those stabilizer muscles that you might 
not normally feel doing this move without wear bands. And all those stabilizer muscles are activating. I like that one. Now you may have also noticed hanging from my side rings here on my belt are these shorter bands. Now these are our lateral bands which can be ordered separately or if you order our upper body system they will come with a set uh, of two pairs of bands and the upper body bands and these lateral bands uh, are interchangeable they're the same band. So if you go ahead and hook these up let me show you how to take that booty work to a whole new level. So you simply take these lateral bands hook it from front ring the front ring, and then for some even more resistance, hook the other one back ring to back soft ring, and now you have these lateral bands. Obviously, these are great simply for lateral shuffles, right? But when you add them to your booty work, it takes it to even a higher level. Now, when you go ahead, do your donkey kicks, for example, uh, one foot is anchored to the ground, right? So now when I do these, I'm getting even extra uh, resistance beyond what I get with the normal uh, base system. You can do all the same moves, toe tap, but of course now raising my foot off the ground has become a lot more challenging because I'm anchored by the lateral bands. Obviously fire hydrant as well. and the pulse. So that's just another way by adding our lateral bands uh, that you can get uh, even more activation. You'll definitely feel the difference. So I'll go ahead now and just quickly remove the lateral bands. I just wanted to show you those real quick. As you can see, it just takes a few seconds to hook and unhook different accessories for wear bands. We'll throw that aside. Now let's get down on our back and we'll do some more. Of course, you've seen the glute bridge before, right? If you're doing this with body weight, sometimes people put a barbell here to create some resistance. But with wear bands, you don't really have to. As you can see, the front band of my system is anchored to the ground. So every time I come up, I'm having to work that much harder and I'm feeling the activation deeper in the glutes and over a wider area as well, you'll feel the difference. Of course, you can do the one-legged, right? Same deal. I'm anchored on my left foot. So as I do the one-legged bridge, I'm feeling more activation. So there's just a few things you can do down on the ground. Uh, with wear bands, the types of workouts you can do are really only limited by your imagination, but those are some of the basic ones uh, you can do. So there you are. I hope you enjoyed this little summary of some of the booty work you can do with wear bands, be it standing up, down on the ground, on your back. Now remember, you're only limited by your imagination, so any kind of workout you like to do, go ahead and do it. And if you're wearing wear bands, if your glutes are being activated, you're getting a booty workout. Um, but these are just some of the things you can do to really target uh, those areas and feel the full effects uh, of wear bands. So thanks for joining me. Again, if you have any questions ever, just reach out to us at info at wearbands.com. We love helping people have the most fun, uh, have the most efficient and the most productive workout possible. That's what wear bands is all about. So if you have any questions about the system or how to do that, just reach out to us. Uh, we'll be happy to do what we can to help you with your wear bands experience. So thanks again. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. So when we bring up new Getting Fit with the Founder videos, um, you'll be notified and you can check out and, and see how to do some other things with wear bands. So we look forward to that. Uh, in the meantime, enjoy your workout and we'll see you soon.